Earlier on today, Donald Trump retweeted three posts originally shared by Jada Franson of Britain First. All three of those pieces of content were videos alleged to include Muslim men doing a range of things, none of which were verified nor any explanation provided as to why that was relevant or indeed typical uh, of people they allegedly represented. But who are Britain First and who is Jada Franson? Well, Britain First are a neo-Nazi organisation based in Britain. Jada Franson is a racist, a bigot and a thug. Indeed, she has a criminal record for racially aggravated harassment and is set to face a magistrate's court in Belfast on December the 14th for being arrested just several weeks ago in that same city. But Britain First's problems go far beyond just Jada Franson, this woman who was retweeted by the 45th President of the United States. In 2016, Thomas Mayer killed, he shot and stabbed, Joe Cox, a Labour MP, shouting those precise words, Britain first. He did so because he is a member, or was a member, of that same organisation. Indeed, there are photos showing him behind a banner, saying precisely that word again, Britain first. At his trial, when asked to give his name, he said instead, death to traitors, freedom for Britain. These are the kinds of people and the kinds of ideas that Britain First seek to champion. And now they're being broadcast to an audience of tens of millions by the President of the United States, the leader, we're told, of the free world. Now, we know as Brits we can't do much to change who runs other countries, or at least we shouldn't. And that's a matter for Americans. But what we as Brits are in control of is ensuring who can and cannot come into this country, especially on public business. It's incumbent on Theresa May not just to condemn Donald Trump, but to say he is not welcome in Britain. Just as Donald Trump banned Muslims from America, we're now going to ban a man who is so happy to peddle such outrageous hate from entering ours.